Hey YouTube, it's Tech Savvy Solution, and I'm here with a video tutorial on how to get a better version of tablet mode and hybrid tablet mode slash phablet mode, whatever you want to call it, onto your Galaxy Nexus. This will work on all Galaxy Nexus models, be it the GSM version, Verizon, or Sprint. So before we get started, you may be wondering, what the heck is tablet mode? Well, it's exactly how it sounds. Your phone behaves like a tablet in this mode. So this is what I mean by it. It's best to show you some examples of applications. Nope, not that one. All right, so let's go to our YouTube application first of all. And let me show you that in phone mode, it normally looks like a whole laundry list of um, YouTube videos, kind of like this, but blown up. I'm not doing a very good example of showing you. But in tablet mode, you get this 3D panorama-like view of them, just like you would on a tablet. And then if you were to click on a video, you'd have the video show on the left, and then access to related videos and comments on the right. And then in the YouTube app or in the Gmail application, we have access to the actual message on the right, and then shortcuts to the other messages on the left, and also shortcuts to the inbox, outbox, sent messages, etc. All those options on the left. Of course, that's how it shows up in the tablet mode. And then on the status bar, you also have the tablet status bar and all the other benefits like more screen real estate for or not screen real estate but more room to put icons in the app drawer all right so in my galaxy or my galaxy nexus full customization tutorial you can check that out on my channel um, i showed you how to get into tablet mode in the last part of it however in this video i'm going to show you a better version of tablet mode and how to get it in my opinion, it's more customizable and it's simpler to use. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the newest version of Paranoid Android, as of today at least. Credits to moles are coming from XDA developers. Paranoid Android is the ROM that will be able to get you to tablet mode, hybrid tablet mode, phablet mode, whatever, and all those nifty features, which we'll see in just a bit. All right, let's get started. All right, so first things first, you gotta be rooted with the custom recovery image installed. Clockwork mod or team win recovery image will work, either one. So if you want, go ahead and check out my Galaxy Nexus full customization tutorial on my channel, and you'll be able to learn how to do just that. The link's in the video description, or you can just obviously visit my channel. All right, once you've got that done, then we can continue on to the next part. Okay, so our next step is to download the files that we need to flash onto our Galaxy Nexus. So we're going to head up over to xdadevelopers.com. The link is in the video description below. And then now we're going to be downloading Paranoid Android. Keep in mind it'll be running on Cyan Engine Mod 10 and Jelly Bean. So awesome sauce. Alright, so we're going to scroll down past all the pretty screenshots and video down to the instructions where we'll be able to download what we need. So every time you see download, you're going to be clicking on it. I'd like to hold the control key on my keyboard so I can open up new tabs for each window or for each link. Okay. So it's going to take us to this website over here. And then you'll notice four options. And if we go back to our instructions, we'll see a key that's typed out in gray. But if you have the GSM version, you're going to download, you're going to click on Miguro. And then Toro, Toro Plus, Grouper for the rest of the versions. So because I'm running in the GSM version, I'm going to go ahead and click on Maguro. And then it'll take us to a list of files. Now, we want to download the latest one, obviously. So it's going to be 1.9.7. And then we can go ahead and click on that. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again. But you'll click on that. And then in the next window, again, you have to choose your file. So again, I'm going to click on Maguro. And sometimes it hangs up. If it does, you just have to wait for it to load. So in this case, it's hanging. And I'll be back with you once it, um, once it loads. But pretty much, how about this? 
when you click on that, it's going to take you to the same place that we clicked before. And you're going to get these set of options again. So in this case, instead of clicking on 1.9.7, this one, we're going to click on the one right below it. So 1.9.7 fix one. These are the files that we're going to be flashing to fix all the bugs. So you're going to click on that and then download. The last window, and I'm not sure if this is going to hang or not, but in this last window, we're going to be downloading our G apps or Google apps. And we need to flash those in order to get Gmail and all of the other stuff that runs on the device. So I'm just going to click on the first link, which is for Android 4.1.1. And then click on that to download. Again, I've downloaded it before, so I'm not going to do it again, but you should. And then once you have all of those things downloaded, we're going to continue onto the next set of steps. All right, once everything is downloaded, you're gonna want to open the downloaded folder that everything uh, was put into. It's called downloads for most of you, but wherever you store your downloaded files. And then from there, you're gonna go ahead and connect your Galaxy Nexus to your computer. So let me just fish out the wire that I have, the cable. Okay, and we're gonna connect it as such. And then in a moment, there should be, yep, this popping up. And then we're gonna open device to view files. If it doesn't pop up for you, then you can always go to my computer over here. Same thing, gets you to the same place. And then you click on Galaxy Nexus, which is your device. Go to internal storage and you need to choose the location where you're going to put your files. So for me, I just created a flash folder and that's where I put everything in it. So it's easy to remember. I put it in all caps so I could see it better. And then you're gonna go ahead and drag and drop all the files that you need or all the files that you just downloaded. And put it in this folder. So I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again, obviously, but those are steps to get your files onto your phone. And after that, we can go ahead and unplug the phone from the computer. And then now we need to reboot into recovery mode. So there are various ways to get into that, but what I would recommend doing is downloading this application, ROM Toolbox from the market first. So if I go to the Play Store, okay, and then we can go ahead and search for this. So if you go to ROM Toolbox, then you can choose either the light version or the pro version. And I just like I don't, I don't want to pay for it, so um, I'm going to choose the light version. And you're going to install that onto your phone. And once you have that onto, or once you have that downloaded and installed, then you're going to go ahead and go to ROM Toolbox and then go all the way to the Tools tab, Manage ROM, scroll to Manage tab. And then if you haven't done so already, Flash your recovery image. So this is either Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win. Either of those two are awesome. And then we're going to reboot to recovery mode. All right, once you're in recovery mode, we're going to select the first option, or my bad, the second option, which is wipe. And then we need to go ahead and wipe factory reset. So swipe to wipe. Okay, we're going to click back. And then the second thing that you need to wipe is the cache. So swipe to wipe again. Okay, back. And then we're going to wipe the Delta cache. And then that one is relatively quick. So select back again. 
And then finally, after we've wiped it, let's go back. And then now let's select the first option, which is to install. And what we're going to do is select PA Magura 1.9.7 and that date. That's going to be our ROM. So we're going to swipe to confirm flash on the bottom. And then this one will take just a bit. We're going to wait for a moment. All right, so now we're going to go back. And then the next one that we're going to, f to flash are our bug fixes. So it's going to be PA Maguro 1.9.7 fix one. And then again, swipe to confirm flash. Okay, and then again, we're gonna go back and then go to G apps. We're gonna flash that. Swipe to confirm flash. Okay, and then now we're going to go home. And then I like to wipe the cache partition. Let's do that. Okay, go back. And then now we're going to wipe the, the Dalvik cache. Okay, then go back. And then now, let's go back again. And then we're going to select Reboot, which is on the bottom, and then select System. And then we now we just have to wait for it to boot up. I'm going to stick around just for a little bit so I can show you the cool animation, the boot animation on this. Check it out! Oh, my camera sucks. doesn't really show it, but if we look at this angle, you'll see we have little jelly beans over there inside our paranoid android. How cute. Alright, so we have our welcome screen, and now I'm going to say start, yes I do. So tech savvy solution at gmail.com, All right, nope. Okay, I'm going to say no. All right, so let's finish this. And hey, check it. Now we're on Paranoid Android. So I'm going to be back and I'm going to show you through all of the cool features of Paranoid Android in just a bit. Hang tight.